going on? What's going on, everybody? Top of the morning. Uh, well, pardon me. I wanted to drop off this video right quick. <clears throat> As you can see from the header, this is in relation to this whole thing that we're going to. Wait till y'all see the name of this program, y'all, that they're doing this under the guys under. Now, this is in direct correlation with Quantel Pro. One and Quantel Pro 2.0. This is what Quantel Pro was established for to spy and to surveil activist groups. But let's dig into this article. Environmental group sues Oregon Department of Justice Attorney General over surveillance. A group of activists is suing the Oregon Department of Justice and Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum accusing them of spying. The lawsuit is centered around the DOJ's program called Titan Fusion Center. Hmm. The department website says, Titan is a collaboration between multiple law enforcement agencies to stop terrorist and criminal activity. So they put this whole group basically in the gang stalking program. But the, po the policing project at the New York University School of Law says the Titan program illegally spies on activists who authorities know aren't breaking the law. Kyla Farrell Smith, I hope I said that right, says the DOJ illegally spied on her while she was protesting the Jordan Cove Pipeline Project. I suffered the psychological terror of not knowing who was watching, tapping our phones, cameras, or manipulating social media posts. However, now that I'm learning the level of unfiltered, unfiltered filtered surveillance we were under by the Titan Fusion Center, I'm terrified for everyone, said Farrell Smith. Plaintiffs claim Titan operates beyond legal authority, and they hope the lawsuit puts an end to the program. The Department of Justice offered KATU the following statement as well as some background information on the Fusion Center. Y'all see the Fusion Centers? This is what we need. We need more light shined on these Fusion Centers to show how they're illegally doing this to countless people. And they're doing it to people who they know are not terrorists or engaged in criminal activity. They literally do this to people they know aren't engaged in any of those things. We are reviewing a lawsuit and we're responding in court. But on initial review, many of the examples cited in the lawsuit occurred several years ago and have been addressed. For example, the lawsuit reference of Ghanaian News article expressing concerns that members of law enforcement were monitoring protests with Ghana, the Jordan Cole Project. When we learned of the concerns, we followed up a meeting and shortly thereafter placed the Fusion Center employee on administrative leave. After a turn of investigation, we issued the employee a pre a pre-dismissal notice, and he chose to resign. Fusion Center background. There are currently about 80 fusion centers located throughout the country, and while the, while the work of each center may differ, their mission to prevent terrorists and criminal threats remains the same. In Oregon, the Titan Fusion Centers work with federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies to produce threat assessment. This is, so everyone who's going through this targeted program, our name was submitted to whatever fusion center is closest to us in whatever state or country you live in, this is the pipeline, the channels that our name had to go through. The fusion center is what bridges all of these agencies together. State and local enforcement agencies to produce threat assessments, officer safety bulletins, reports of missing persons, and general crime bulletins. The Fusion Center also provides training to law enforcement agencies, businesses, businesses, and first responders about various public safety tips, including active shooters, cybersecurity, and crime trends. The Oregon Fusion Center is funded through federal grants and state funding from the Oregon legislature. The Oregon DOJ updates the Oregon legislator on fusion center activities during each legislative se session of every other year. So we need to start filling these sessions up in our state. We need to really let them know what's going on with these fusion centers. As required by state and federal law, the DOJ's own rules and policies, fusion center analysts can collect and share information only when there is reasonable suspicion 
that a person or organ organization has engaged in criminal activity or when a person is in danger or missing, such as a kidnapped child, and the information that directly relates to that crime or emergency. In addition, all publications of reports are reviewed by a DOJ attorney before they are disseminated by the Fusion Center. So you see the pipelines they saying they had to go to. So do y'all understand what's going on? This is out of control. These fusion centers, local law enforcement, state, federal, all of them, the program is beyond out of control. They're not going to, I believe that it's going to, it's going to come to a head because it's no way they're going to keep on. It's no way they're going to keep on being able to dismiss our allegations or just completely ignore us as if this thing isn't getting out of hand or getting out of control. It's only so long that they're going to be able to pretend and act like they don't know what's going on before it all backsfire and blows up in their fucking face. I promise you.